everyone. Welcome back to How To Tuesday. I have a question for you. What do you get when you cross straws, yarn, and tape? Oh, and ten fingers. Any guesses? Okay. If you don't know, stay tuned. If you do know, don't tell anybody because it's a secret. Well, I'm going to show you what it is so it's not really going to be a secret. But for people that don't know what it is and haven't seen this yet, to them it's still a secret. So technically, if you know but they don't know, it's still a secret. And you can't tell them yet unless you show them this How To Tuesday and then let them in on the secret. So I guess we have to spread the secret around. Or something. I guess. Okay, I'll show you what it is. For your straw weaving, you're going to need four or five clean, unused drinking straws two types of yarn, one for the actual weaving and then one to use as the cord to hold your weaving, tape, you can use scotch tape, I'm using painter's tape but whatever you have is fine, and you'll also need a pair of scissors. The first thing that you'll do is line your straws up together so that the part that bends, if you use a bendy straw, are all lined up right beside one another. You'll then take your scissors and you're going to cut the straws just at the part that bends. And believe me, they will fly all over the place. What you'll end up with is a shortened version of the straw. This is going to become the loom that you weave on. After you've cut the bendy part of your straw, you'll then take your scissors and just at the tip, right at the opening here, you'll snip. These little snips are going to be the catches that hold on to the yarn while you weave. You don't want to make these too large, you don't want to go down too far in the straw, but they're going to hold everything in place. Once you have your slits cut in your straw, you'll then cut a piece of your cording yarn about 20 inches long. That is a lot of yarn, but you're going to need it in order to move your weaving down. Depending on what you're making, if it's a necklace or a bracelet, you're going to make it longer or shorter. So now I've got my cut piece of yarn and I'm going to take this and thread it through my straw. So this is what it'll look like. I'm going to take this end and then I'm just going to carefully and slowly push it through. You might need the help of an adult to do this because sometimes the yarn can get stuck in the middle and you have to do a little bit of wiggling. So we'll push this through until it comes all the way out of the other end. I have gotten my yarn to come out at the other end and I'm just going to pull a little bit of this out. We don't really want a whole lot, maybe about an inch. And I'm going to pull it through the slit that I've made. And here's where my tape comes in handy. The tape is going to hold this in place as I weave. So you just need a little tiny piece to wrap around the yarn. And we'll just place it like this. And now you have one-fifth of your loom ready. So you'll repeat this threading and then taping on the remaining four straws. Now I'm ready to weave. So I'll begin by making a slip knot. To make my slip knot, I wrap my yarn around my finger, have a little loop, push the yarn through the loop, and then pull. There's my slip knot. With this slip knot, I am going to place right here on the first straw just like that. And that's just going to hold it in place. Eventually we'll move that down. So now I'm ready to start weaving. This is a very simple weave. Nothing too complicated here. Depending on what words you like to use, you can use forward and backward or under and over. So I'm going to begin like this. I'm holding all of my straws in one hand. And I'm then going to take my yarn and I'm going to come forward and then go backward, forward, backward. Now that I'm at the end of my straw, I'm going to come around and go backward and forward, backward, forward, around, and then forward, and then backward. So once you've gotten a few of your loops on there, what you can do is push them down onto the straw. Weaving into this tape can be pretty difficult. So once you've gotten it into the straw area here, you just want to kind of pull your yarn a little bit snugly, get it nice and tight, and then you just continue your weave. As your weaving grows, you'll eventually need more space to do your weaving in. So you'll take 
all of these rows here and then you'll gently pull them down the length of your straws might take a little bit of force and bring the weaving onto your cording. So this is how your straw weaving looks once you get it off of your straws. It's nice and pliable but it's also very beautifully woven. So as you weave you'll gradually pull this woven piece down. Here I have my completed straw weaving and it's long enough for it to be a bracelet for me. So what I'll do is I'll take my scissors and I'm going to cut a fairly long piece here at the end. I want enough to tie off all of my strings. And then what I'm going to do is come all the way down to the bottom of my cords and I'm just going to secure these with a big giant knot. And the reason that I do this is because I don't want to lose any of the weaving as I'm sliding it down to the rest of the cords. So there's my knot. That'll keep anything from falling off. And so now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to very gently bring it off of the straws. So bit by bit I just want to move it down like this. So we'll scooch this down. Scooch, scooch. And then I slowly bring it down onto the cording. Once I have enough space at the top of the weaving, I can use that long piece of yarn that I cut to knot everything. So here I'm just going to even out all of my weaving. I'm just going to bring this down some more. And again, you want to leave enough of the blue cord to tie. We're all ready to tie our knot, so we'll take our scissors and we'll just cut the cording free right from the base of the straws and you can set those straws aside now to use again later and then remember that long piece of yarn that I cut I'm going to use that now to tie each of these blue cords so I'll take blue cord number one and my piece of pink and then I'm just going to tie that in a knot so there's one then I'm going to work my way across with each of my blue cords, tying knots securely. There's two. Here's three. Four. And five. You can do two rows of knots. I always like to just to make sure that everything is nice and snug and together. And this is going to hold all of your bits. And it even kind of has like a nice rug look here at the end too. And then once you get to the other end, we're going to do something a little bit different. But you'll cut free your knot. And instead of using the pink yarn, what we're going to do is take that slip knot that we started with and just pull it so that it's a little snug and then we're just going to tie pairs so we'll take the first two blue cords tie them in a knot then you'll take blue cords number two and three tie those two in a knot And then you'll take cords three and four, tie in a knot. And then you'll take cords four and five and tie in a knot. And again, just like up top, you can do a second row just to be sure that everything is nice and in place as it should be. So there you have it my friends. This is straw weaving. This is a great way for you to do a long term weaving project that you can take with you on the road or just kind of keep with you at your bedside if you like to unwind with a little weaving at night. That's it for this week my friends. Be sure to join us next week on another edition of How To Tuesday.